Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. The current iPhone which I use is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And besides its cameras, the thing that I used to be super proud about the phone was its battery life. I never was so impressed by the iPhone battery until I used the 11 Pro Max. It just kept going so much that I maintained a perfect 100% battery health for a straight one year. I even made a video about how fast charging my phone every alternate day for about one to two hours helped me hit that perfect score. I will link it down if you wish to check it out. My biggest drain on the iPhone battery besides the usual social stuff is 4K video recording, voice editing and writing scripts. See my YouTube channel is just over a year old now and I have made over 100 videos and I shot all of them using my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Seriously guys, the camera is that good. I don't think even the 12 Pro Max maintains such amazing camera system by opting for a strange choice of lens. So the 11 Pro Max is still the gold standard at how amazing a camera system can be, especially when it comes to video recording. So for 10 minutes worth of a YouTube video on my channel, I shoot over 40 to 50 minutes of footage at full 4K resolution up to 30 frames per second. And you all can imagine the battery drain that would cause. Seriously, recording about 40 minutes constantly with the camera on. And even with such heavy usage sessions, I used to end the day with about 70% battery, which is seriously incredible. I didn't have to charge my phone for two days straight. And even when I had to charge it, I just used to plug it for an hour or two and that would get my battery back up to the high 90s. This totally helped me preserve my battery health to that perfect 100% score. And then came iOS 14. We all were super excited that we would finally get the iPhone to look different since, well, it's conception really. With widgets and apps that allowed customizations, we all went crazy on what we could achieve. Some were really ingenious and creativity to the peaks. But with a totally new structure of operating system that only meant bad news for the battery life. And this was totally noticeable as soon as I installed iOS 14 and my perfect 100% score straight away dropped to 99. I felt this was okay as battery was a year old, plus new OS means everything needs to be readjusted, re-indexed and apps will not perform optimally until they all get updated. I left it for a few days and then almost every day I noticed a percentage drop of my battery health but more importantly the iPhone was not lasting as longer as it used to before. With extensive usage I used to end up with 70% before. Now on a normal day even without heavy usage I'm ending with about 30%. And if it's a day consisting of shooting 4K videos for an hour, it is killing my battery life. And at the end of the recording, I am having to plug it in. And with every iteration of iOS 14 version, a percentage of battery health dropped. And currently, the software iteration is 14.4 and my battery health is at 96%. Guys, 96% is still quite decent, I know. But it's not just the battery health but it's how quickly it is draining. This really started worrying me and I started to look for fixes online. So I started with the simple stuff first. Turn your phone on and off and even force restarting the phone after clearing everything from the multitasking menu. It absolutely did nothing. And next I updated all the apps. And then I went in and turned off all the widgets that use location services. Then some posts suggested to turn off optimized charging, then turn off auto video playback and then turn off location services. I even then unpaired my Apple Watch and repaired it back again. All these didn't help. And then I deleted all the widgets which I used on my home screens and 
began to use the iPhone like how it worked pre iOS 14. Even this didn't help. Then as a final measure, I did that thing which I was dreading to do. Erase the complete content, reset the phone and install everything as new. I used a cloud backup so it wasn't that bad but I had to re-auth all my banking apps and my payment cards. I was seriously hoping that it would fix my battery drain issue but to my biggest disappointment, there was no use at all. My once perfect battery health stands now at 96%, which is still high again, but what I'm concerned is at the rate at which it reduced. I saw it go down from 99% to 96% within the span of few days. And if it keeps on doing this, I will probably need to replace the battery in a month's time. And more importantly, the once amazing battery life of the iPhone 11 Pro Max has turned into being worse than iPhone 6. If you recollect, iPhone 6 was this impossibly super thin iPhone which was amazing in hands but had terrible battery life. Well, my iPhone 11 Pro Max has turned into same. And I have noticed users commenting that their 12 series iPhone dropped battery health to 96 and even 94%. This is really bad because that phone just launched a couple of months ago. I seriously hope that Apple considers this as their top priority and addresses this in their next software update before anything else. And especially looking at how many people are having this issue, it really needs to be top amongst Apple's radar. See, I do acknowledge the fact that batteries deteriorate over time, but not just after one year, especially if you take proper care of them and especially when you pay over 1200 pounds for a phone you do expect it to last a bit longer and the battery was so good for the first time that it felt that it was the gold standard but seeing this deteriorate in front of my eyes is really upsetting i always made positive videos about apple on my channel as i seldom have any issues using their products but this battery drain issue is really worrying me so I hope Apple addresses this soon and we get back to that gold standard once again. So here's me signing off full of hope. I will keep updated on the progress of my battery health and the battery usage via my Instagram and Twitter accounts. So please do follow me on there guys. And do comment down below and let me know if any of these fixes have helped you. So it could be useful to other users. And that's all for the video, guys. As always, thanks a lot for watching it until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.